Whoa, hold on, hold on. Bring the camera back down again. What have we here? Hey, it's Airsoft Mike and today I have for you the Mobius C2 Action Cam. So here it is people, this is the Mobius Action Cam. This one has the C2 lens on it, which is supposedly an improvement on the previous model. And the wide angle on this is supposed to be just that little bit wider. So what can I tell you about the construction of this piece? It feels good. I'm not gonna lie and say it feels sturdy and good and everything if it really doesn't, but it really does. It is sturdy, it feels nice and solid. It's fairly light. It's made mainly out of plastic, but it's a real good quality plastic. It almost feels slightly rubbery. Nice build. And the only metal parts that I can see on this action cam are on the top. They do look like they are buttons, like an up and down button, but they're not. This is the heat sink. But you know what? I'll go through the features of this fantastic little action cam in a moment. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, the main purpose of me getting this is so I can mount it on my airsoft weapon. So it's got a much lower profile and a much smaller footprint than most other action cams of this quality. Right, so what do you get in this particular package? Well, the package that I got came with a cradle mount like this. And if you're wondering what would you put this on? Well, if you look here, you've got these little slots where you could put a strap through that, or you could use this on a tripod. Now you're probably looking at this thinking that ain't going on any tripod that I know of. Well, in the package comes this little bad boy. And you can see there in the center, it's threaded. So that simply drops into that square there and then you mount this on your tripod. <laughs> nice. And then your Mobius is ready to go into its mount. Now, if you look on the side of the Mobius, all the way down the side, across the back, and across the other side, you can see a groove. That is simply there so that it sits nice and snugly in its mount. And if I show you this mount even closer, you will see little lips. There's one there, there's one there, and you'll find the same on the other side. Those will slot into this groove nicely. And there you have it, nice and secure, your camera isn't going anywhere. But guess what? We're not gonna use this mount for this video because as I said, I want to mount this on my airsoft gun. This is not going to mount on your airsoft gun. But before I show you my solution for mounting this Mobius action cam, the one with the C2 lens on your airsoft gun, I haven't finished showing you what else you get in the package, the basic package, because there are different packages out there. Well, you also get naturally a USB cable. You also get what looks like one of the world's smallest Allen keys. And no, this is not for opening up your action cam. This is so that you can adjust the lens. I'll come back to that in a moment. And you also get this commonly known as Velcro, but technically it's hook and loop, okay? Velcro is an actual brand. But anyway, yeah, you get this Velcro hook and loop solution, which Obviously you can stick on, not on the camera because it doesn't stick very well on the camera, but it sticks perfectly on that cradle mount I just showed you. And then of course you can stick the other side on whatever you wish to mount the camera on. 
Personally, forget this. So, how do I get this bad boy on my airsoft rifle? So I got an associate of mine to get online to try and find me some form of mounting solution so that I can put this Mobius camera on my airsoft rifle. And he came up with this. It's from a company in America called Shapeways, but it's actually designed by Brain Exploder Creations. It's an action cam mount. That is designed specifically for my Mobius action cam. And if you look on the bottom, look at that. That will mount on your 20 millimeter rail. Nice. Hold on. This looks all fantastic and great and all, but can you see what's missing? There's no nut. There's no screw. There's no way of securing this on my Picatinny 20 millimeter rail. Oh my gosh. Right, so it's my intention to just go to a hardware store and buy some screws and nuts, nothing else. Cause I've got this bad habit of buying stuff I don't really need. Oh wow, look at these amazing wall art. Okay, okay, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> yes, and before you say it, I did pay for this. Thank you very much. Right, okay, so here's me bag of screws and nuts. Let's just get it open. And hopefully, because I just did this by looking at the screw and looking at the actual mount, and I kind of guess that this should fit in the hole and the nut should be the right size as well for where it needs to rest on the mount. Well, here's hoping for the best. Oh, so far so good. It fits in that way. Is it long enough? Oh, beautiful. That's about the right size. I got lucky there because I really didn't measure anything. So, um, and this nut, I'm not going to put it on yet because obviously I need to mount this on the airsoft weapon rail. Let's see if this nut fits in that little slot. Oh, 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 like a glove. Well, almost. Right, so I'm going to put this Mobius action cam on this particular airsoft rifle. I'm currently using this in my next two or three games because I've got to test it out properly so that I can do a final sum up or final update on this particular airsoft weapon, give you all the pros and cons. So what I've done is I've freed up a bit of rail space here. So there's a little section right there. I'm gonna put the Mobius mount on there and then slot the camera in. And hopefully the Mobius is so flat and neat, it won't get in the way of this site right here. And there, as you can see, it's sitting neatly on top of my airsoft rifle. I've not even used the screw and nut yet. And look, it's already quite firm on there. It's not even falling off. That's quite good. So as you can see there, I have the screw in, but there is one problem. The screw is too long. <laughs> um, if you've got a touch of the old OCD like me, you won't like that. That's just gonna bug me every time I pick up this particular airsoft weapon. So I'm gonna go and quickly get another screw, but this time you don't have to come with me. I'll be straight back. I'm back and I found a screw which is a little bit shorter. This one's about 33 millimeters long. Okay, let's try again. And there you go, people. This is the shorter screw that I've put in. And just in case you're doubting me, look, it's no longer protruding from the other side. Right, let's get the camera on it. Oh, would you look at that. 
Nice. Now, obviously, this being the type of airsoft rifle that it is, it has these things in the way. Not a problem. I'm going to remove that and then I want to show you something else, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the camera has a nice clear view, no obstructions in the way. The sight is sitting behind it nicely and is high enough, or should I say the camera is low enough so that it's not blocking the sight. Now here's the other cool thing I wanted to show you. If you look carefully, this actual mounting unit right here and the camera is kind of sitting more to the right, on my right, overlapping more on this side of the gun than it does on that side. And you might think, oh, that's not good. It's not sitting centrally on top of the gun. No, that's actually perfect. Because if you see where this actual lens is positioned on this Mobius, it's towards the left. Can you see that? Or towards your right as you're watching this video. Which means the lens is looking perfectly down the top of the barrel. Look. Nice. Okay, so I feel I need to do a little disclaimer here. As always, when I do review products like this for us airsofters, sometimes you get people who have nothing to do with airsoft stumble across my videos and think, oh my gosh, look at all those guns. Um, let me just explain now, they're not real, they're airsoft guns. It's a hobby sport of mine and many people around the world. And it just so happens that this Mobius action cam, the one with the C2 lens is absolutely perfect to fit on your airsoft weapon when you're filming your gameplays. So there's my little disclaimer there. Okay, so just before I show you some actual footage that I have shot with this camera in my airsoft armory, let me just run through what you get with this camera once again and the features that it boasts. It comes with a mounting adapter, a tripod mount, a lens cover, a mini USB cable, a tiny Allen key, and a hook and loop strip. That Allen key is used to focus the lens. Out of the box, you do not need to focus this action cam. You would only use the Allen key if you want to shoot in macro mode. Now, I can't think of any reason why any airsofter would want to shoot in macro mode. But there are many other reasons why you'd want to shoot in macro mode. And if that's your thing, you can use the Allen key to adjust your lens. So as I have mentioned before, the body is made out of a really nice and sturdy plastic. It has two heat sinks to help keep the unit cool. And on the top of the unit, you have your three main buttons. You have your power button, your mode button, and your shutter button. In other words, your power button obviously switches the unit on and off, your mode button will switch it between the different modes, and your shutter button will either be for your photography or starting the recording of your action cam. And do remember, if you do buy this Mobius action cam, please make sure you download that software because with this software, you can do so much more with your action cam. I'm Airsoft Mike and boy is this one cool action cam. Make sure you check out the video description below for more details and I'll see you next time.